Hello and welcome to JadeKind Gaming Presents the Observatory. My name is Bob, and this is the 53rd session of the Shadow Kingdom 5th Edition Dungeon Dragons campaign. Joined here with Austin as Mary, Ryan as Mother June, Adam as Dr. Richter, and Nick as Maribel. We're going to pick up in the lair of the evil <laughs> necromancer. <laughs> I mean, so I think I, man, so it's kind of redundant. We're on a room full of children's drawings, right? <laughs> yeah, children's oh. <laughs> drawings, some toys, and then, like, undead corpses at this point. So, combat has effectively ended. You're all in the room. What do you do? Yeah, I'll read the journal. Let's point out the journal. I'll start. If you start reading, I'm like, pick things up. Someone's coming after us. He got away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, put, put points over the place and see yeah. if anything... What was us. in his room first? Okay, so investigating? I will help Adam investigate. All right, and you're investigating as well? Yep, right. but I'll, I'll do a different location. Well, yeah, obviously. He's doing the bedroom. What are, what are you looking for? Stuff of interest, I suppose, or anything that uh, would be a... Clue to this guy's actual identity would probably be interesting. Okay, so you're looking for things that would identify him. Yeah. Okay. And if you're not helping, you can oh, loot for loot. Uh, I, I know <laughs> something that I want to do that's e even whatever yeah. aside the investigation. Go into the bedrooms and see if they've got any loose hair or something along those lines. Any kind of body part uh, that they might have left behind. Scrying foci. All right, you can search for that. That would still be an investigation. Uh -huh. 23. 23. And what are you looking for in his room? I am looking for... I mean, what information can I get? Are there other journals? Are there artifacts? Are there... Okay, so you're just, like, searching the room. Yes. Okay, so you find... Uh, seems to be a lot of... Uh, designs and things of an arcane nature that you're relatively familiar with. Uh... There's a, uh, like a kind of, uh, portrait, mm -hmm. uh, on a dresser that's of a man, a woman, and a young child. A portrait, you say? Yes. Let's kill them all. Yeah, they gotta <laughs> track them down and kill everyone on that picture. <laughs> Uh, all the EP, all, all the EV people have pictures made. Yeah, yeah. Only EV people have giant portraits. There's a half full wardrobe. There's uh, a is he about my size? What is he about my size? Uh, <laughs> can I wear his clothes? <laughs> not really. Okay. Uh, he's a little, just, 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 he's not as tall as you are. Okay. But, uh, just, uh, <laughs> you can always make them your size when you change. No, I have a set size. What are you talking about? Uh, there's a stand that's an ornate silver-looking stand mm -hmm. uh, that ha looks like an orb would rest in it. Yeah, point out where the orb was. Uh, there's a desk, and inside the desk is, like, scrap paper. There's some empty books. There's a couple, like, reference books, like, for... Uh, alchemical and uh, magical equations. Mm -hmm. uh, there's pens, pencils. There's no jewelry. There doesn't seem to be any money. Uh, um, off well, topic, has this world evolved in the, like actual writing pencils and pens? Not everything. Well, yeah, but... the, everyone has pencils. Oh, okay. Pencils are. They, they've used pencils for a very long time. Huh. It, I'm just so used to every fantasy thing. It's like, and here's your quill and ink. Well, yeah, there's still quills and ink. Yeah. They don't have a ballpoint pen. There, there's no, like, clicky boys over there. Yes. Okay. No, no, no. This is uh, Fantasy Kentucky. They have a bunch of uh, horse uh, hair brushes. Yeah, it's just, just calligraphy in Fantasy Kentucky. Okay. <laughs> I, I like the idea that they do not have ballpoint pens, but they totally have magical mechanical pencils. <laughs> so, I mean, take out bag of holding, equation books, his formulas, that silver stand, uh, basically 
any of the stuff that seems sort of like what his work was. Yeah. Take that. Is it something um, on those bookshelves? Just a general thought with the drawer. Are there concealed compartments in the drawers in the desk? We've seen that too many times before. You got a... 23. Uh, it's kind of a separate check to search it, the... It, it, if you don't, it would say, check for secret compartments. I will start, you know, hacking at this thing. You got a two. I mean, he's still assisting you. Yeah. So, you still get it as well. You got a two. Still a two. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't appear to be any secret compartments. Ten. My total is ten. It doesn't appear okay. to be any secret compartments. Um. In other desks, have they generally been in the same kind of spots? Like, they're like, like false bottoms on drawers, that kind of thing? Well, yeah, in general, but you looked for those and you didn't find them. That's what your ten was. Yeah, uh, that's that's my tale with investigation. You searched and did not find anything. <laughs> okay, but uh, that doesn't mean that I believed that there wasn't anything. I just can't find it. Okay. I mean, uh, and, and I that's not any out of game information because obviously I don't know if there actually is or not. Okay. Um, but but my know. my the other option is if you break out the bottom of a drawer. Yeah, you can just start breaking things. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the top right drawer, I will try to, like, open and just try and bust through with whatever d d dagger. <laughs> you have a magical flaming dagger? Is yeah. it still flaming? Um, the flame on. Now <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, no. Flame off. If there's paper and stuff, you don't want to break through with fire. Uh, <laughs> flame off. <laughs> 20 intelligence, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Character... The player is the one that decided to go ahead and kill and revive the librarian because nobody would notice. There's a difference between my intelligence and my character's intelligence. Like, we are Thank you for helping game. me. Flame off. <laughs> we are not the same. <laughs> okay. Fire bad on paper. <laughs> You're not that bad. So you stab through the... Uh, yeah. Just Okay. And it goes through the bottom of the drawer. It's okay. a sharp knife. It's a thin, uh, thin piece of uh, drawer wood. Yep, yeah, just straight yep. through. And but mostly unharmed, other than that hole there. Yeah, there's and, and it feels like it's there. Um, I'll do that to the other top drawers, but other than that, I won't bother. Okay. Yeah, you don't see. Um, a quick rifle of just padding on the clothes. Is there anything just in pockets? Uh, particularly if there's anything evident of like this was recently worn and like how it's. Um. um I guess a perception would be for recently worn. I'm still hoping, though I probably should have rolled that if you had asked me. Well, then do that one separately. Okay. Because I'm not over here assuming you keep helping. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, check Stop. those for what was recently worn. Yeah. That's uh, 26. You find his... Uh, as you're going through there, you'll note that, like, there was kind of a stand with like a brush on it. He mm -hmm. was like brushing clothes off. And you find like the brush and you find that most of the clothes has like a relatively even thread swipe. And this yeah. one doesn't look like it was swiped. So you assume that this particular pair uh, suit set was recently worn. It just hasn't gotten around to doing that yet. Yeah. So I, I rifle through its pockets and stuff. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a... An investigation check. Here, this one. <laughs> and I help you look through it. Fourteen. Still better than what I would have done. You find something. You find something. You find thirty gold. For sake of brevity, that eventually makes its way into party funds. Okay. <laughs> um other than that, with general sense that I've looked as best I can in this room. Uh, wasn't there a set of bookshelves, or did we go through? Those were the books you talked about. Or uh, I talked about. They're like mainly reference books. Yeah, it's right. like some some of the reference books are necromancy based, but general without actual like discrimination, stolen his books. Okay, I have a bag of holding. After that, child's room, covered in pictures on the wall. Yeah. Not anymore. Okay. I steal the child's pictures. <laughs> I get I get a sixteen on my investigation to find uh, parts of them. 
She's oh, probably for, okay. for like just hair. In there, like, ah, does this, yeah, yeah, does this kid I mean, meticulously pull their hair out of their pillow? Probably as, not. As you were looking around, you kind of, there's like a brush. You pull some hair out of. Oh, yeah, because they're, they're your people, aren't they? No, no. no. Oh, that's what we were looking for was yeah. your people. No, they were humans. Yeah, I mean, there was, there's the brush. I mean, it, it's relatively apparent from looking around that they don't leave this area much, if at all. Like, it's very lived in. So, so easy to find. Yeah, probably pretty easy to find mm-hmm. stuff. Okay. So I just collect that. At least no one fireballed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a responsible person. Is you are in a different room. Yeah. Also, is most of this Also, I'm literally in a different room stone? while you guys are searching. Uh, most of this what? Are most of down here stone, like stone walls and stuff? Yeah, yeah, you're in a sewer. Okay. <laughs> this dude took the time to wood panel his sewer. <laughs> well, that front room might be his warm farmhouse uh, feeling. I well, I mean, there's like carpets down. There's like... Okay. Uh, a- after after I've got that, I'll go to what the the room that was described as a potentially mm-hmm. like a workroom. And the one we just got done with? Uh, uh, no, you were like in the bedrooms because you were rifling through desks and clothes. Yeah, and there stuff. was one room you didn't go into a oh. spider. Okay. Oh, okay. One that we didn't even know about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was just Good memory. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I want to uh, go in there and I'm going to be looking for stuff that would be balance blades related. Okay. Uh, as you walk into the room, uh, it's relatively dark, but you have dark vision at this point still, I'm pretty sure. So naturally, yeah. There's a it's a stone box basically. There's a table that's I don't know if you ever saw his table, Doctor Richter's table that he works on corpses on. Okay. So it's like a medical style table. There's uh, tools and everything, but it's not it's not like a torture chamber. It's not dirty. Everything is meticulously clean. And taken care of. There's a table with like reagents, so there's like powdered gold, powdered diamonds, like different uh, magical reagents. Yeah, yeah, I figured you'd be pretty happy yeah. about that. I'll tell you the exact numbers in a second. Okay. Uh, there's a back table with more books and looks like a place that he could sit down and work on things. There's a big uh, green slate all running along one walls with like equations and formula and like. Uh, Numbers. It looks like I've been uh, erased and changed, and you just kind of see initials uh, running down the side. There's like uh, B L uh, S L O Z Z, and with like different numbers on them. Uh, I I'd say uh, doctor, there might be something in here that. Could be of interest to you, but you'd have to check uh, its, mechan- its formulas. I um, sigh relentlessly halfway through taking pictures off the wall. Fine. <laughs> uh, as and, we walk over there, uh, I'll I'm have... not quite that, that okay. describing. So, on the other wall, so like table on the back with three agents and a like work desk, slate, wall that you entered from, and then on this side of the wall, there's different. Uh, drawers in the wall. It looks like kind of a morgue. And if you go through them, it's uh, bone piles. There is uh, big containers, big vats of like fleshy skin and muscle. There's uh, limbs chopped off and put into uh, looks like pre-portioned bags almost. This is exactly how many limbs you need for a a swarm. swarm. Yeah, (laughs) so it's like it's a prep room, but instead of cooking, it's corpsing. So it's like a necromancer's workshop. But again, it's it's clean. It's sterile. It's not a dirty place. Hey, Mary, you might be able to find your boy in here. I mean, I guess I, I, I was... So there was a kitchen, right? That there, was like the, yeah, yeah, like the main yeah, area? Yeah, there's a kitchen. That's a, that was like the area yeah, we started yeah. in? Yeah, so while you're there, while I was searching back there, I would just help myself to a stash. Making a Rating sandwich, a having a drink. Yeah, there's like, there's milk, there's, uh, are there sweets? There's cheese. If you look in the freezing section, there Ooh, seems to freezing be s- section. some kind of... I don't uh, think that's unusual in this world. Uh, sweetened cream. Yeah. 
But that's what I've been doing. I was just bringing, I was gonna bring up things like, "Well, you guys doing the work? I'm just in here eating his food." <laughs> Go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh joy! So <laughs> it's probably bad for me. What are you doing eating? Stash that. We'll bring it with us. <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> and when you got a four plus two. You didn't find the frozen Snickers bar in the freezing section. Bam. <laughs> this is this where all the kid tastes name brand Snickers. <laughs> and now we never get to know. It, are, are there silverware or at least silver? No. <laughs> They're silver living silverware. in a sewer. <laughs> hey, you never know. Uh, I guess I go back and I look for the elf while carrying so, some food. Yeah, you're out uh, there. Huge Dagwood sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shaggy. <laughs> I'm in a murder investigation with actual necromancers, ghosts, and zombies. I need to make a sandwich. It's important. <laughs> you gotta keep your priorities straight, man. Pull out Badger, see if Badger can steal the sandwich. <laughs> if the Badger wants a sandwich, you can have a sandwich. I'll make another one. The Badger's like, you're gonna have to chuck me. <laughs> Infinite sandwiches, man. They're gonna throw me. <laughs> what? You're flying. <laughs> <laughs> I won't touch this boy. It's dirty. It's got so, blood on it. So <laughs> Badger fine. can't reach him. It's fine. Put Badger away. Uh, I do. What about my sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I do give you guidance when you get around to looking at those. Uh, what, am I, what am I looking at? Uh, there's a slate board with uh, formulas. I'm oh, sorry. What is my check? I. Uh, Arcana, probably. Yeah, yeah, you can do an arcana check. Okay. Natural uh, 20, natural 4 on the d4. And this is arcana. <laughs> the so maximum possible bonus he could get. 5, 7, 8, 28. Well, except for inspiration. Go ahead and inspiration. Yeah, yeah I, I need a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I gave all you 32? Okay. <laughs> so you look up there and you're like. Okay, so this is just a tally of the zombie numbers. It's like BL is boneless, OZ is ogre zombies, uh, Z is zombies, SL is uh, sw uh, limb swarms, swarm of limbs. Uh, that formula there is just, he was just kind of doing scratch work on like, I need, okay, for swarm of limbs, I need this much. It's like basic scratch work math. Where it's just him going, okay, he's basically switching from grams to ounces kind of thing. I have this many bodies with the maximum potential yeah. output I could get. Yeah, basically, where he was trying to maximize his effort. He could have done better, in your opinion, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, there's also a formula that been. it looks like it's been up there the longest. Mm -hmm. And... It's a step-by-step -step instruction in his own private hand, which he adorably thought he could hide from you <laughs> with his inferior monkey brain. <laughs> he doesn't understand our god, I'm nearly to my... Yeah, it's like he clearly has never uh, figured out how to change people's physical appearance for funsies. <laughs> and it seems to be a formula to attach... Uh, the corpses to a magical device used for order and control. And you surmise from that that it would be catastrophically bad if that orb was to shatter. What, they don't go nuts or they don't explode? I was going to say that you're unsure, but you're pretty sure that they'd all die. All the zombies? Yes, but you think that he's pretty sure that they may or may not lose control. He doesn't really know. Okay. First, and this is like as in like slate board or yeah, this is on the slate. It's like a wall size slate. You did pick up a blank notebook. I would like to remind you. Okay. Along with yeah. Uh, how, I mean, how complicated to write down with the thirty-two? You could shorthand okay. it. Yeah. I I, 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 I just <laughs> I make some notes for my own. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, given with the detailed shorthand. Would it have made sense that the orb on his table was the control mechanism versus scratch? Just as a general player of a game, yes, that makes sense. <laughs> that is what that is. Yes. He, he already gave me that information, Nick. Don't be silly. Well, th <laughs> sometimes things go over our heads collectively. That's why I want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
He never saw an orb, only the spider did. <laughs> but if he was holding an orb close and keeping control of it, that's the one. Because he does not want to lose it. He thinks it's very important. <laughs> it is now a bargaining chicken. Chip and uh, the bargaining chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now it's slate, right? Yeah. Um, is there, after I've copied my notes, is there chalk around? Yeah. Um, you want to forge it, check to fuck with it? Yeah, just a few things, like, you know, minuses to pluses. Just, you know, in case he has to redo it at some point. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'll, also, in my notes, I will note it down in case he works with us. That way I can change it back. <laughs> okay, so, uh... You've rolled a natural 20 and a 30. I'm going to go ahead and say that you flawlessly covered, uh, did it in such a way that no one would notice, even the guy who did it. <laughs> it's like if they tried to reproduce it, will it explode on them now? No, no, <laughs> it's just enough that it's not necessarily going to work and he'll have to spend extra time figuring it out is so, all I'm really going for so on that. So, <laughs> for the reagents you picked up. Yep. You picked up uh, 700 gold worth of powdered uh, pearl. Hey, that could do your body thing. Uh, 2,000 gold of red coral. Coral? Yeah, like from the sea. Okay. Utility magic and black <laughs> things. Uh, 70 gold worth of uh, powdered diamond. It looks like it's been used quite a bit. Uh, about 150 gold of ruby. Okay. And 80 gold of emerald. Nice. Okay. So now all we gotta do is find were, a spell that uses They were corn. nicely labeled what each item was so you didn't have much trouble. Like, this is an organized man. Okay. And, uh, so we got that stuff. Uh, looking around the room, was I able to find anything that would give me information on blade activity, or does it uh, not seem to be what would be in this room? It doesn't seem like it would be in this room. This room seemed to be his personal workspace. Okay. Yeah, I don't necessarily even know if he's working with the blades at this point. Uh, I'm going to... At least not directly. But since they're in here, I'm going to go ahead and check and see if there's any further rooms deeper in or if we essentially hit the end of this. Okay, uh, you go down a little bit. There's a bathroom. Pretty basic tub, toilet, sink. Okay, so that that's the terminating room. Is yeah. The bathroom. Okay. Uh, and then I'm like... Uh, Go ahead and check uh, kind of last round up, and then we can get out of here. Yeah, check in the living room. I need, I need just, like, one more minute. Okay, then I'll check in the living room to see if there's anything that I could find that would be like... Okay, you currently see a fairy floating around with a sandwich. It's like, weren't you going to go check yeah, the orange coolers? Like, yeah, so we can check the, <laughs> see if the elf is in those corpses. So, yeah, sandwich in one hand, door opening in the other. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take a minute Let her to know. get it's the like rest of the pictures. Let fridge. Uh, no, I am going, there are, there are ready-made piles for making zombies. Yeah. Um, and a zombie, even if just left in here uncontrolled, um, isn't necessarily the easiest for someone that wasn't the original Razor to gain control over, right? Uh, mm. not unless they've got the control and dead ability from being a high-level necromancer. Yeah, so. Like, 14th level. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I will just animate dead on whatever, uh... <laughs> Just enough to leave leave one behind that surprise isn't uh, under his control. <laughs> uh, a lot of the zombies seem to be skinned, but there is you could definitely make a skeleton. Yeah, that's fine. Whichever. All right. Yeah, there's a skeleton. I believe you have control over it for 24 hours, and it goes feral. Mm -hmm. Um, and so basically, as we leave, my instructions are because all the other parts were like in like piles or buckets or things. Yeah. Uh, is to move those into the child's room and then just sort of wait in the hall. Until if some if someone other than us comes through to attack them. Okay. Uh, actually, animate dead. Does that have? Uh, I'm seeing if you can make more than one. Uh, let's see. You you can. It would be higher level. I don't know what base level um, animate dead does. I think it's just one. I like, at this point. Yeah, one minute casting. Uh, choose a pile of. Yeah, one. Oh, right, right, because you're not a necromancer. Ne necromancers get more. Okay. Okay, then yeah, you just get, you get yep. one zombie who's sitting there just... Mm, yep. 
or skeleton or yeah, yeah, skeleton that's it over there just moving body parts into the child's room. Yep. I've been petty enough. <laughs> As I walk out to the main room. <laughs> okay, what were you looking for? So, anyone else looking for anything? He was going to check for the elf's body. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, go ahead and uh, check. Go ahead and give me the a zombies. investigation check to see if you can identify the corpse. 11. Got a 10. Plus 1. Yeah, you, you know, you didn't get a good look at him, and he was a big old dum-dum, so... Yeah, he was pretty useless. So yeah, you do, uh... Yeah. You don't, uh, see the body of that said fellow. Well, these are all probably, like, rotting and crap, too, right? Nope. It's more like they're frozen, or they're, uh, A lot of them have been skinned, preserved. though. Yeah. Because he wanted the skin for... Uh, boneless. For boneless. Yeah. And the, uh... Well, are any of these elves? I mean... Some of them. How many? More specifically... Is the skeleton that I animated enough? It, it's a skeleton. It's not anything anymore. Are you saying that the bone structure of an elf and the bone structure of a human in your world are the same? You know that elves don't have pointy ears as bones, right? No, but they do have a different, like, b like facial structure, like the do bone structure. I mean, in a lot of worlds, yes, they do. Uh, if you do not agree at the very least, look at the, what is it, 3.5 Player's Handbook where they show the cross-sections of different... <laughs> I mean... If you'd like to do a medicine check to identify the bones of the skeleton, you can. You have intelligence 20. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can remember if it had pointy ears or not. Well, he, he had a skeleton. Oh, it, it was skin. Just skin. Yeah, no, I, I, I am just assuming that I could I could assess based on the skeleton. Yeah, I mean, it's a medicine check. Thirteen. I mean, some of the bones might be from an elf. Yeah. So I managed to assemble a pile of bones that were not all from the same body into what the skeleton is? Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't I know mean, that you, it, It's not like... It, it's numbers. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he thought there was just a full skeleton in yeah. one of the shelves. No, no, it, it piles of bones. Yeah. yeah, like I thought like they had been skinned and kept in pile. Like, I, I no, 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 no. It's like pile of skull, pile of femurs, pile of... Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Vastly misunderstood. Hey, remember that spell doesn't mention anything about a complete skeleton. It could just be a giant ball of heads, like bubbling around. I, uh, I, I do one last check over the living room, and then I'm going to uh, call. It. I'm, go I'm going to uh, literally does just say pile of bones. Yeah, it, does not have it is skeleton. specific for the zombie yeah. for the corpse, yeah. but for bones, it is just pile of bones. What is it? It's it's a human shaped <laughs> pile of arms. Say, oh, say, say, uh, well, one, once around the living room to just check and see if there's anything joints. else that uh, uh, might be of interest and then I'm going to go do watch out at the entrance so I mean you say of interest uh, I'm looking for clues related to the balance blades game okay yeah. go ahead and uh, give me a search check an investigation natural 20 okay as you Go through and look around. Doesn't seem to be, like, a whole lot. Like, there's nothing that seems to be his as a part of the balance blades. But as you're looking through, you do find, a, like, a sigil. A small medallion that uh, looks like it was thrown into the fire at one point. And kind of half burned, half melted, and it's a balanced blades medallion. Furthering my suspicion that he's not directly with him. <laughs> and. Right. Well, I'll take that, and then I'm going to do, do watch out at the uh, entrance to the place. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Everyone. Do you point that sigil out to me? I mean, it's a, like a medallion. No, no. Uh, Does she point it out to me? Yeah, I'll, I'll point it out to you when we're in the same room. Yeah. So we're thinking he doesn't... They're not working together. We'll have to read and see what... And that sigil is like the Blades' is symbol? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, mean, it's like I rush back in to where I've... Um, whatever, scratched out whatever things with like the... Just like his general numbers, like mm -hmm. the... The, the tallying thing that'll be easy for him to redo. Uh, and then I do a very rough version of that sigil on his 
on his work. So just blame it on them. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I mean, you know what it would look like not rough. Yes. Um, but you want it to look like without artistry. Yeah, okay. exactly. Uh, when we all gather in the hallway before we go back out, I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Well, how many elf corpses were there? You said some of them were elves. How many? They're not piled as corpses that we found out. Well, I mean, there's some things that were preserved as zombies, but like... You said their bodies were frozen. Yes, and... That None of them were. Frozen piles of pieces, not frozen whole corpses. Okay, so... Oh, well, if they're not whole corpses, it's irrelevant. Yeah, there was, like, two whole corpses, and, uh... And were any of those elves? Uh, sure. One of them was an elf. Um, not just, not just... that the right one, but it was a elf. Oh, so I know that's not the right one. Well, though. this elf has boobies, the other one did not. Uh, <laughs> no, no, they can change that. Might still be... <laughs> I don't know. I know General Pros. Can I guess how long this has been dead? Uh, like, you can do a medicine check, but it is frozen. Yeah. <laughs> They've altered the time of death. I can't tell. It's like, could this even be raisable? I feel like it'd be, you might as well raise it. I mean, why not? Yes. Right? No. That's just any corpse, so I can't text it with General Repose. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to take it. Did you roll? <sighs> right, right. I mean, I suppose I can. Listen, funny things happen. It's a two, isn't uh, it? No, I got a 19. Oh! Oh! Okay. So, this... Which gives me a 21 total. Been dead for a little while? Uh, More than 10 days? Yeah, more than 10 days. Then useless. But it's gentle repose. Well, is it gentle repose versus... Ray's dead, person? man. Ten days. Uh, looking at it, uh, like, kind of traces of cosmetics. Hair seems to be done up nicely. Seems to be a uh, swift stab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ray's dead ten days. It's like dropping like 500 gold on something. Not so big a deal. Uh, nails are uh, painted... Oh, yeah, no. Like uh, she, she looked like she was very concerned about her appearance. Oh, she was concerned. Not like this dude was doing, you know. No, no, her dude wasn't afterward. doing weird things. This is the corpse itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was gonna say you were you were going a whole different way, weren't you? I was gonna say if he was doing it, I'd take her. I mean, if you're doing a medical check, so you're doing like an in-depth yeah. investigation into the body, and you note know that like pampered. Seems like very probably a lady of the night. Ah, nah, she ain't look like a prostitute. She got too many nice nails. Uh, she got you, you know they have yeah. higher end. People with money find ladies of the night as well, That's and they true. get a whole different class. I don't know. I mean, I I briefly think about. I don't know. Maybe we could ransom. Rest. It's probably too much work. I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Totally money making schemes like ah, yeah. but I don't actually care enough. <laughs> yeah, it's like ah, probably worth something. I don't care. Is like the whole room refrigerated? Uh, no. Or is she like on like a special area? It, like more cool. drawers. Oh, neato. Yeah, it's got a. Uh, it's just flip that one on the ground. <laughs> Skeleton turns around to go pick it up, <laughs> <laughs> drag it into the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look over and the, just the skellies dragging this dead orf, elf lady into the hotel room. Okay. Yep. I mean, Story it in the not temperature controlled area. That gonna be a stinky room. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, it's full of limbs and viscera and just a bunch of ick. Uh, uh, uh. The ickiest part is just the flabs of skin thrown against the wall. <laughs> exactly. Like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of wallpaper. But anyways, as we're getting ready to go, if everyone's done. Deuces. I, I cast pass without a trace. Alright. Alright. So that's plus ten to all of your guys' uh sneak as long as you're within ten feet of Zabani. And more importantly, we Or not ten feet, sorry, thirty feet. Plus 10, within 30. Yeah, go for it. And you don't leave any traces. That can be followed mundane what or magically. 
Uh, night, night. Yeah. Yeah. We're on your, your schedule. Yeah, it's your schedule. No, no, no. Because we can't get you to work on Mars. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to wait. Uh, wait until dawn. Well, mm-hmm. you only make traces after you cast the spell. You yeah. never erase any traces. You left previous. True. But as far as where we go from here, yeah. As far as our escape, that's the mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Pass without a trace. No, it's right. obvious. We've messed with things. Mm-hmm. That's what we came here, and we made it very obvious that we did. <laughs> where we go from there, though, mm-hmm. is we yeah. go back to our entrance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So get out of here. Okay. Get back uh, to where we once belonged. Good work, everybody. We've successfully accomplished something. We're almost sure of it. <laughs> almost <laughs> sure of it. <laughs> That's a definite maybe, boys. I mean, of course we did. Look at these artists. Uh, <laughs> I don't mess, think they were done by a child. Mess with the local necromancer. <laughs> so head on back. Okay. As you're going through the tunnels leading back, these are all places you've plugged. Mm-hmm. See, you make it. Uh, you make it uh, back to uh, the entrance without incident. Nice. Which is still in the Balance Blades area. Yeah. So we use Tony to see if there's anyone directly above the. Uh, Check. Great. Go ahead and roll a perception check for Tony. Tony the Wonder Bat. <laughs> He gets a 14. Okay. Uh, he does not see anybody. <laughs> well, there you go. He says there's nobody there. Cool. His, we must trust in his 14 and 60 foot blind sense. <laughs> so we scamper up and then head on back to our part of town. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me uh, sneak checks. Mm-hmm. Pass that trace lasts for two hours. An hour at least, but I have more of that slot, so if it's worn off by the time we get back to the entrance, I'll cast again. I mean, it's about a half hour from the balance blades to the sewer entrance because you now know where you're going. Yeah. So you have about a half hour of it after you're sneaking out of the sewers. 21. 21? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. So am I getting plus ten or not? Yes. yes. Oh, Twenty-six. 30, Thirty-one. 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 Twenty-six. Ten. And Big so stuff. twenty. Yeah. And I'll have stuff. So twenty for me. Okay. So we don't be suspicious. You sneak your way back, uh, and you're back in your home area. You know. Clean up, shower, and I guess go to bed and we'll just hold the meeting later. Or or hold the meeting and go to bed after, like regular people. Yeah, or that. I mean, it's about three or four in the morning at this point. I gotta wait for dawn. It's like we rested midday. It's, it's probably like it's not that nice, that, that that nice morning mm-hmm. commute of people. And me, I only have to do a four hour, so. Yeah. Okay. So you clean go. up. Clean up. And then, are you doing the meeting now or after you rest? Meeting at normal time. I don't know what the difference in times based on when we actually, well, actually get back. Now you'd be sleeping for five hours. Then you'd have a meeting. Oh, well, the question is: Is are you guys going to sleep, or do we want to sit around and chat about the what we just found? As far as well, wouldn't you want to sit around and read all that books you gathered? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, we'll just head into the uh, our dining room and start pouring over information. Mm-hmm. The meeting room. Yeah, the meeting room. This is a dining room. We dine in it. Listen, it, isn't I it a private? I eat in bed. Don't make it a dining room. Isn't it? The actual thing, a private dining room that we've adjusted to be our office. It's a private room. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start going over the, and start reading the journal and okay. show, show off what we collected. Who's reading the journal and who's doing what else? So you're reading through the journal? Yeah. Um, he had a bunch of books, too. Yeah. But I will... 
give you guidance when you're reading through that for what if you have to roll. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I'll just be reading through something else also. So the journal kind of starts in... Uh, it's not like it starts at his birth. It's clearly that he's in the habit of journaling. Okay. It's something he's done for a long time. It goes through kind of research notes, thoughts, uh, not really very personal. It seems like it's professional. And then there's a shift about halfway, or not about halfway, about probably 10 or 15 weeks into when he started journaling in this one. There's a shift. It's not, it's more personal things now. It's like despair filled. Like a, he's talks about loss and trying to cope and trying to. Find How many people were in the picture? Three. Three. And trying to find like support for uh, himself and his daughter and just trying to find a way to fund his research and maybe if it pays off. He'll be able to, you know, afford more help around the house. So someone to help him with his kids. Someone to help. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to go get that, get up to that ninth level spell, cast True Resurrection. It was like just get the mommy back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, question: Was the person in the painting of the three of them an elf? Just possible that Would corpse. You let me finish this before you move on to the next item. I wanted to say it so I didn't forget it. My, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, then it goes into that you know, kind of excited tones. He might have found a way, found a sponsor, a patron. He keeps referring to it as like his patron that's sponsoring his research. And then, uh. He is talking about an excitement over a new facility that he can uh, work in. And then it kind of changes tones again to almost wrathful. The it's, uh, choice expletives around the patron now, the people who are funding him. He didn't know that it was a gang related thing, and he didn't realize that his refusal to give him give them access to his talents was going to lead to the kidnapping of both him and his child then it's long arcs of how long he's been stuck here and what he's been required to do and how after incursions he was required to secure the uh, sewers and the invention that he had made so that he could control large bodies of uh, undead and look through their eyes, specific ones' eyes. And then it kind of leads up to he doesn't like doing this. He feels that his debt is paid. And for threatening his child, they, he's not well inclined to anyone who works for them. And, uh... Uh, his child's name, as you were reading through, his na her name is Millie. What about this message? Sending us three. Send uh, okay. It's like, with this amount of information, could we send a sending to him? Oh yeah, well, it, did he ever write his name down? No. It's his journal, he doesn't really... Go. I also <laughs> Yeah. I Ryan think this. No, he, he doesn't uh, sign it or anything of that nature. No. Yeah. Okay, what was your question? Oh, it, it was a wondering if the body Austin pulled out of the freezer was the mom, but it seems like she died and he grieved the normal way. I'm not, like not the crazy ever. psycho way. <laughs> she, she probably didn't die like a month ago, like that body did. Yeah. Well, if he was an necromancer, he could have had gentle repose, or maybe the enchantments on there were better. But yeah. And he, the he, woman in the painting is a human. Okay. For he, now. He didn't. What is it? Uh, Victor Freezer. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah, we, I see. We, we, we reach level nine. Summon him up. 
res- resurrect his wife and then kill her in front of him. <laughs> Again. Did, did we end up switching back to talking about force? <laughs> we could do that to him, too. <laughs> we'd have to do it twice, though, because we'd have to kill Jenny in front of him and then kill him in front of Jenny. I have a plan where we could cut them in half and sew them back together mixed up. Ah, there you go. Mouth to butt. Well, I was just thinking left and right. Ah, right, that worked too. No, no, cat dog. Upper half, upper half. Okay. <laughs> so, so we're planning on turning him into Baron Asher, basically. I do like the idea that this is all in game. He's like, we're, are we talking about forests? Yeah. <laughs> what are we looking for? It's terrible, terrible things. That man is horrible. <laughs> It's a service to the yeah, community. Him and that damn Jenny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have anything that you want to ask? I mean, I'm out? I'm looking through. So, uh, child paintings tend to be ponies and stuff. I also grab boats, books, and research, and all the stuff from the desk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are any of those spell booking enough to get a spell out of? Uh, there might be some that are grimoire esque. Huh. Uh, you probably. It's probably his notes, not his proper spell book. <laughs> but uh, there's maybe things that you could pull out of it, but a lot of them are like academic in nature. So there's like, you know, necromancy and you bringing the undead to life. You know. Is because it's not a normal spell, is there enough to like put together how to summon or put together an undead limb swarm or the other things you made? Because Ray's dead only Are does... you looking through the books too? No, I'm just asking out of curiosity in case N- the Adam person doesn't think to ask well, him. I'm uh, looking at what's in there. <laughs> we'll see. If, he, if it's in there, he'll tell me. Yeah, I'm working on going through the list. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was in the middle of talking. <laughs> True. <laughs> Again. <laughs> You know what, Nick? I just want to say, we still love you. <laughs> just wish you weren't awful. <laughs> I've helped once tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good enough. Good enough. So, uh, there's a bunch of different, like, texts on different uh, procedures you can do to create undead. There are those things that would, like, you make swarms and things like that, including information of what they would and would not be vulnerable to, so your character now has in-game knowledge of like their vulnerabilities and resistances of both Swarm and uh, Boneless. I share that information. Okay. <laughs> you guys could metagame with impunity. I don't know those enough to know. <laughs> uh, I think Swarm's got a bunch of them. Uh, that's swarms for you. Yeah, swarms got a bunch. Um, uh, the boneless had some sort of slashing or piercing. Uh, boneless is yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I, I, resistance I, to bludgeoning and poison. Swarms is uh, charm, exhaustion, frightened, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poison, prone, restrained, and stunned. Mm-hmm. Is all of its uh, immunities. immunities also. Resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Uh, I, I informed the doctor of the reagents that I collected, including the red coral. Yeah, and when you're do I see, do I see any that mentioned in any of the notes? Uh, when you're looking through there, it seems to be a part of the uh, <laughs> preservation spell. Whatever he had that like made the coolers mm-hmm. w- required red coral for the spell to make cold boxes that work with similar utility as general repose, but as long as it's in the box, it's under that the effect. So it's not something you'd have to repeat. It's now a... Basically, you can enchant an item with general repose for anything that's inside of it. And that's probably... Well, is that just what all the freezer boxes are? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. It required uh, crushed red coral. So I let you know that. To which you overhear that. So yeah, you can now probably outfit your laboratory with its own. It order. would mean that you could create it at, inside of these books. Would be ways that you could figure out how to make your own drawers without too much difficulty. 
you don't have like his exact notes for exactly what he did, but I think in uh, Storage Solutions for the Canny Network Necromancer, one of your books, uh, it goes over a basic setup for how it could be done. Yeah. Probably not worth it while still in the um, upper floor of your church. Uh, well, we we can continue to uh, expand our secret underground yeah. rooms. <laughs> for now, the <laughs> that's probably something that is permanent enough but probably not be at a spot where eventually probably we'll move on to let you fully have the church as a church. That seems important to you for some reason. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We could offer like a 10 gold a month storage fee for a corpse if you ever get up to, you know, the 500 or 1,000 gold will res your person for you. But you need to store it What, you're point. putting your loved one on layaway? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? That's I mean, a, yeah, that could, that, that could be... That could be a whole business. That's an intelligent service. Because that's there are a lot of people that would be like, especially especially things like, I mean, people are really sad about like the yeah. loss of children. I mean, we don't have bargain rates for that, but I mean, you could still spend. Yeah, we don't do full... discounts because it takes the full drawer. We yeah, can't stack the children because that would be that wrong. would be rude. That, that would be mean, <laughs> obvious when we stack. The children. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we yeah we just need to f uh, figure out a way uh, to finance all of these resurrections. Yeah, because there's a lot no, of no, quests. They pay for it too. They put them on layaway. They yeah, charge. they're just paying us a regular fee yeah, for, a storage for storage fee. in <laughs> while they try and save up the money on their on their own. Yeah, you know, I mean, and then if they fall through, you go and do a uh, storage auction. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because I eventually. I, I mean, I mean, there was the whole thing about needing the rights to the. <laughs> yeah. And then we would technically own these corpses. I'm sorry, you defaulted. We now own this corpse. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I and feel I feel good about this plan. And we're a church, so it makes sense. We we're dealing with your bereavement, guiding you through your grief. But there's we hope. don't like the poor. <laughs> <laughs> However, you I mean, appear to be a poor. It's expensive to be able to do this, and there's limited drawers. We only have hey, so much capacity. We, we we don't hate the poor. We we help the poor, but the poor still need to go get that money. <laughs> it's not gonna get paid. Yeah, yeah. We're in fact like the whole point is not necessarily poor so much as that that middle, maybe lower middle class where they can afford the monthly payment, but can never really manage to get up the money to. <laughs> I I love bargain base or bargain bonanza month where. I'm sorry you can't quite afford a true resurrection, but what we can do is offer you a reincarnation for a fifth of the price. <laughs> so if Timmy comes back as a badger or a bear... It's March Madness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! Someone that, write down this idea this time. <laughs> this is an income... Yeah, this is an in-game conversation. This is... <laughs> this would be... A legitimate income stream for a church. That's I mean, kind if of you don't want it tied to your church, it, it can also just be its own separate business. True. I'm not writing any of this now. So <laughs> if you don't remember it, I recommend you do provide so. provide this service to you. For a fee. Yeah. Well, it'll still be some levels before I'm able to cast any of that. Well, no. We start collecting the fees now. These and people can't afford it. And also, they don't have to have them raised to us. We're the storage option. Uh, yeah. I suppose there's that, too. It's like, I thought you resurrected. No, 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 no. You resurrected. We just hold them. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've, we've kept them good for you. No, we, there's any number of churches that can bring the priesthood in for that. <laughs> but the idea of, remember, magically, if they're dead more than ten days, it's, they can't be raised that way. So you have to get the storage solution now. <laughs> I can imagine the billboards. <laughs> Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Your loved ones need you. Better call Renette. <laughs> you know, even if you're not sure, you know what? It's it's only first a... first month is is real cheap because at that point when they default, they're ours. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Not sure if you actually miss your family member. Yeah, no, just it's like it's, it's just a month, you know, by about to make the decision of, of of what you know if if you need to <laughs> bring him back or you can bury him. Make that decision later. 
<laughs> they save all that money, save up for the resurrection, go there, resurrect them. They don't want to come back. <laughs> well, that's why we'll also you know, we throw out a consulting fee for, you know, speak with dead. <laughs> I don't know, isn't that one you can get? Yeah, Probably. I already have it. Why don't you do Probably one of these I characters mean, who have access to their whole list. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we spend all that time going over stuff till the morning. Mm -hmm. Bard cleric. Until the morning so, commute. <laughs> you could take that up. <laughs> yeah, that's how I want to make that one of my level mm -hmm. three spells known. Because yeah. once we get done and the uh, morning case going on, I'm going to sky right. People need to see stuff on their way to work. Well, they're expecting it at this point. It's important. Okay. Also, as far as you can see the billboards, I mean, if we do go move forward... <laughs> uh, also, question. Do we want to actually try to like track this guy down tomorrow? I don't know if we need to. Uh, yeah, like you've, you've read... You've, you've gone yeah, over a fair yeah, bit of a thing? I, I want to tell you guys kind of what the, I found in his journal as well as that this seems to be a guy who ended up getting kidnapped by the balance blades in order to do their dirty work and didn't want to get involved with it. Mm. He lost his wife and he was trying to get funding for some sort of research, uh, but that I don't think he went into, like, what, too specific as what the research was. Uh, do you know it was research that had to do with necromancy, but he didn't really go into exactly what it is. This is, like, his personal... Journal, not like his professional notes. Okay, so. You know that what he was talking about was the orb. Yeah. Because that's what he developed and created. Okay, and so it looks like he was uh, trying to get research money, got it from the balance blades, and then they were like, well, you got to pay that money back, and this is the kind of situation he found himself in. So we at least freed him from his prison, but. Yeah, yeah he, I'm not so sure that he's working for them. Uh, Do we think he is a person of influence? Uh, judging by the lack of reprisal from kidnapping, probably not. Mm. Yeah. He might really have just been a pawn that we might have just lost them. Yeah. L literally, we might have just done what we need to with him. <laughs> yeah. And wasted time vandalizing his lair. Uh, well, the question is, is would we want to find him, maybe, uh, offer him protection and get him under our wing? Or do we think that, uh, worth more trouble because they, he might just get picked up in their area again. I mean, if we have a way to reach out to him, I would love to offer him the, you know, basically the mindset of you can work for us, but you don't have to, and uh, just and hoping that you don't continue to work for the people against us. Yeah, or help us get revenge against them yeah. by telling us what you know. But from yeah, what you said from the thing, is that it might just be better, you know, point out the, the freedom of Stay out of our way as we're going against him. If you want to help, you can help. If you just want to get your, your kid out. Uh, other question. Get her some paints. With those notes, could he recreate that orb? Uh, In theory. I mean, it would take some work on my own. but It would take yeah, work on your own. You could recreate stuff. the orb. Uh, it wouldn't control the undead that... No, it's it would it would be something for me to use yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but yes, you could the ability it. to turn. That's why I wrote down the formula. Yeah, yeah. The you ability. have a bunch of the reagents that are required to make it. Yeah. yeah, the idea of creating a whole bunch of your own undead that you don't have to constantly daily upkeep. <laughs> That's not been enough of a problem for me yet. Yeah, true. We <coughs> haven't had enough bodies, but <laughs> soon. We're I'm also I'm also moving towards putting the necromancy influenced one in the background, because uh, uh, necromancy influenced one has he, made less than ideal situ you know decisions. Mm. Uh, he just did it again. I don't know if you realize what he just did in that place. Oh, because that was a wild thing that he just did. My my description as I'm writing down is vandalized the necromancer there, and I'm like, that was just me, wasn't it? <laughs> you didn't yeah. vandalize. I'm like, no, that was just me. <laughs> Uh, the gang vandal. Yeah. Hmm? He threw corks on the floor. Hmm? I mean, it's the equivalent of you started. A and then I picked up the corks and I put it where. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I'm question, helping. Because the question was really related to whether or not you would need to prepare, locate the object in order to potentially help us find him. Oh, 
God, that would be horrible with its like hundred or thousand foot thousand radius. Foot radius yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be bad, and we would still have to go around the entire area. But even maybe even get an inkling. given that these I things mean, are you saw miles them. upon. Yeah, it's like I, I could do enough to if we had sending or someone. Uh, don't don't you get message as a druid? No, druids do not get sending. I don't know. I I have. I could prepare animal messenger and just say, here, rat, squirrel, or bird, go find this guy, and magically they do? <laughs> I'm not sure how animal messenger works. Uh, by means of the spell you use, an animal deliver message could be a tiny beast that uh, you can see within range, such as a squirrel, blue jay, or bat. Specify the location which you okay. must have visited and a recipient who matches the general description, such as a... Yeah, so that will work. Uh, you speak with a message up to 25 words. Carry the beast. Specified covering 50 miles for 24 hours. Flying messenger 25 other animals. Yeah, so I don't know where he is. I, I could specify a building if he was going to be there. <laughs> well, you, you could specify... Uh, I don't know how how specific you have to be location wise because it doesn't can i say play. location city and send out a rat to this guy you would have to pick a district yeah so maybe he's still in the district and it probably wouldn't be a rat you'd have to find a bird or something <laughs> yeah so it's like maybe a bird would be able to do it mm -hmm. so we, we could at least give it a shot yeah second level spell yeah i can prepare do it in that their district because if he's if he's still there we more just in motivating him if he's already ran further than that from them then i guess it matters less yeah so i'll prepare that today and won't be casting anything else and i can send like six districts and just blanket all the districts around the balance blades and uh, i suppose in the message you could tell him to come to the red horse Inn. yes 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 mm -hmm. You definitely could. Because we do know an object that they would have on them. <laughs> that yeah. orb? Yep. We also know another object, too. Uh, the pink backpack? Yep. <laughs> He's more likely to keep the orb. Yes. Which you must have visited. Oh, it's been Blades district. I've definitely been to the Palace Blades, and I could. No, no. I'm just saying, like you said, all the districts around it. You haven't gone like above it, mm. kind of. I thought that was on the way to the circle, so I figured that would have passed. There's through. a there's a blank area. Uh -huh. Yeah, we there, followed there... the royal highway, going between them, which I gather I'm thinking is between like literal two districts, mm. is my assumption. Yeah. Just like, yeah, you can do most of them. I'm just saying that you can't do all of them. Uh, it looks like after I prepare those, I will also take the carriage and ride through those other districts today. Okay. Uh, message up 25 words. Yep. You can cover 50 miles for 24 hours. Never mind. Yeah, that, that's, uh... It's travel time if you're, like, sending a message to... It's like 50 city. square miles, okay. so... Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll only last for 24 hours. But if you want to go by the spirit of the spell, yeah, the bird's just, like, flying around looking for the mm -hmm. person. So you're going to send it to the man or the child? The man. But, again, I would have to sleep and actually prepare these. Okay. <laughs> so you go to bed? After the meeting. After the meeting. Okay, so you're waiting till 9. Yes. Because you still got, like, a couple hours until... Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, we have a lot of things that we're going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you went from four hours to two hours, so... Yeah. So, yeah. It's time. There's uh, people... Gone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, balance Blades rule, Necromancer's drool. I mean, we're going to tag him for it. I'm going to tag him for it. <laughs>
That's a message that only people who are involved will know. <laughs> and half of the people who know will know it's bullshit. <laughs> so, balance ba- blades rule, necromancers rule? Yep. Huh? As in, the, the, the balance blades attack their own prisoner. I would like to point out oh. that this is over your zone. It's in the sky. I can put it anywhere in the sky I can see. Okay. It's probably over there, though. As long as it's not like sitting. Nope, I have to like yeah. stare. I have to sit and stare out a window to do it. Okay, but that's what I do. I thought I'd just go inside and keep concentration for ten minutes. It's like l- looking over there. Out there, you know, we're trying to pin the necromancy stuff on them, but you know what? Whatever. This this works. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that is a vague enough message that only people directly involved will know. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it will put in people's head. The balance blades have something to do with necromancy? Or they got they did something to a necromancer. Yeah, so it's that's the point. That's, that's undead the... start rising up out of the sewers. Because of the balance blades. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah, just that's just vague enough to get people to associate those two things together. Yeah. Remember, you don't have to make accusations. You just have to make it so anytime someone hears necromancer, they think balance blades. Yeah. You can just smear people with modern political strategies. It works. You ever notice how tired the balance blades are starting to look? <laughs> <laughs> you can just make baseless accusations, and if you make them often enough, people eventually will believe them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they're morons. I think you've met a person or two. At least one. <laughs> Don't shop at Bill's. He serves children just every day for a month. Well, <laughs> Bill's no. eventually has to put on a statement. My ch- food is child free. Does that mean it used to have children on it, Bill? <laughs> now it's hundred percent less babies. <laughs> child free, and it's like Bill defines child as anyone built above this age. Water, water now without bones. <laughs> yeah, remember, that's what you gotta do. You can get over so much stuff with totally truthful lies. So we tell the uh, lieutenants what we did last night and get their updates for the day. Because we're... That was Friday, right? No, that was Saturday. We're moving into Sun. No, that was Friday. Oh. Oh, Saturday morning is church day yeah. anyways. Yeah, that's right. So you have to stay up later. Because <laughs> you have sermons and cookies. Yeah. But also... No, you were the one that said less than us yesterday, not more. Yeah, it's like, my, my sleep's not the big issue. It's like, I can just do it at any point during today. Anything reported? Uh, well, currently, losing my very hard to sort through things over here. Just stop it. Thank you. space out on one of them. Hmm? I always space out on one of them. Forget. What? Molly. Who, who the yeah. yeah. Molly. Jake, Molly. Steve. Um, Spartacus. It's gonna be mad. Spartacus. Abbott. And, um, Doctor. Yeah, Dean Stair. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see here. We got, uh, Spartacus is looking up prices for you. Yeah, and... Presumably still working on underground room. Uh, or adding bathroom to this place. 
Oh, you mean to the his room in the church? Oh, yeah, you only church. pulled one guy off of the uh, of the uh, underground thing, so it wouldn't take that long. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it will won't slow down the room, but it will take a couple days. Mm-hmm. Uh, what day is this? Saturday. 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 Okay, so you won't have that. Uh, Molly and Hammerstein are working on a spy network. Uh, Abbott. Abbott, see you. Thank you for making me on Adam. You're welcome. Review. <laughs> Abbott and Steve are at liberty. Uh, uh, and Jake uh, was recruiting members of the thugs from the slums. Was the last thing he was doing. Yeah. Eh, guess we should wait till thug counts rounded out before we give them the law talk from Steve. Then maybe we uh, have uh, this new batch that we just got uh, from the um, slums. The slums start training under uh, uh, Jake and Klaus. Yeah, be our more warrior type guys. Until you're free. Uh, I don't feel like the people recruited from there are the best ones to to work with. You'd have to assess talent, yeah. No, it was making a general thing of they stayed living in the slums and didn't go to a more prosperous district and get jobs. So yeah. they, they probably couldn't afford the reagents. So. Uh, anyways, did Abbott get everything set away for the charity thing now that we actually have plans uh, or the the last thing that he was doing related to the charity was figuring out like optimal pricing based off of uh, what we could uh, sell in quantity but uh, not uh, lose too much in material yeah but that probably have to wait this morning or afternoon after you get the cookie samples yeah and we, need, we need to do the cookie sampling so but it was something he was working on so that's what you can do today. And Steve? Uh, Steve, the last thing Steve was doing was seeing whether or not we could get in contact with the constable for getting the cops in trouble for being corrupt. That was the last thing Steve was working on. Unrelated to any of that, what the high hell is a side crystal? Good question. Oh, you're looking up the list of items that he... No. Undoubtedly something that gives him small Oh, bones. there's a space. That's one. Psionic crystal. No, mm-hmm. no, it just... I didn't put space inside crystal. I didn't make science on the word. Wondrous item, uncommon. Crystal grants you telepathy for as long as you remain attuned to it. This crystal also goes with a purple inner light uh, while you're attuned to it. Uh, the higher your intelligence, the greater the light's intensity and the greater the telepathy range. Okay. Neat. What rarity? It's uh, uncommon. Oh, okay. There you go. Have a shining nightlight telepathy <laughs> marker. Uh, Tell you. you. Oh, wow. I wonder, like, an, like an iron stone kind of thing? No. <clears throat> no, it didn't float around your head. Okay. Yeah, so just the way there. that he acted like it is putting it around my head, so I was like... Well, no, yeah, uh, that's that a... Uh, I I am crystal. Was he being helpful? No. He's never. Psy crystal, Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Hey, that's the book that has like the scroll of summon the Tarask. <laughs> Some evil god just littered those around, did they? Uh, I don't remember the details of the quest. I just know it's one of the items. I don't read the adventures. I don't run the adventures. I just mine them for stuff, and I look in there and I'm like. Tarask summoning it. Got it. Not bad. Need no burrito. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you absolutely want to cause a mess, <laughs> and you don't care about fixing it. 
They did that in boxing. Welcome to, you know, magical WMD is just send a guy with a stroll into a town. It's the nice capital you have there. Shame if anything were to happen to it. Okay. work us. So did Steve find out how to get stuff in to the constable? I'm pretty sure this was one of the things that like you couldn't like getting up to the <coughs> highest level of the law enforcement is not super easy. They're a member of the royal court. Yeah. They don't just like you can't just walk in off the street and be like, I have a complaint about your subordinates. Mm-hmm. You kind of have to go through the bureaucracy or it has to blow up into something really big to get their attention. I don't know. After talking about it, we bring up to Steve what would be the legitimacy and legal sorting for starting a body storage system if we got enchanted uh i mean it's doable it shouldn't be too terribly difficult i mean we can pull it under the auspices of the church for uh handling the undead no uh, rental's a bit rough <laughs> like but is there someone else offering the service do you think to you know hold on and i gotta be honest no one's done layaway corpses. Um, a brand new field of income. <laughs> never heard of it. Seems strange. Uh, we'd have to set up contracts for them to sign that you would gain ownership of the corpse on default. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then probably 30 days to uh, get good after they've defaulted to get the body back yeah and then you take ownership after 30 days which means you can't do anything weird to it he says as he looks at <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Richter over there that all seems doable yeah, what, what do I do that is weird you have a big toe in your pocket uh, there were a lot of of Different. You you don't understand the room we were just in. Right <laughs> I swear that got in here through other circumstances. I mean, look at the room. bone structure on that knuckle, though. You don't see that. <laughs> hey, do it for the I I've not seen it before. <laughs> but yeah, I guess contracts to set up a layaway business is unless someone else has yeah, something. Yeah, he can he can start working on it. <laughs> I mean. Does anybody we else? don't have yeah we don't have the drawers we don't but so we don't we don't want to but yeah as far as general concept I mean we might as well find if it's legally feasible uh, if we don't have a better thing for Steve to work on yeah, today. It's like does Steve hand if any additional work he could do the if anything it forces understand it his the bureaucracy yeah. for contacting the constable. I mean it it just. Like, I could throw paperwork at them, but, I mean, we're not getting a response anytime this year. Yeah. Like, we're going to have to find some way to get you in front of them in person. Okay. Then. Hmm. It's like, he, I guess. Yeah, he could go and tell them, uh, work with the new guys on how to behave if they get arrested. That's probably a good and thing. And like Doomsayer can go and get the new guys medical stuff. Yeah, I we were gonna handle that once we had all the new guys we could handle versus piecemeal. Okay, if you want to hold off until you get all of the new guys, it's like we might as well just do it and do it as they come in because then it would be less of a workload okay. on them during that. Yeah, day. this won't take up this full day. Worst if you wait until you get like. A full class. A full full numbers. It's like okay, they now are going to spend a full day teaching or a full day 
checking on malnourishments and stuff okay. like that. So this is something that can do their normal stuff and get some... Yeah, yeah. Then the more people we've got uh, educated, the more they can keep each other in line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. It's like they, they can work on those guys okay. then. Okay. And, uh, and Doomsayer is st still training Anders, I think. Yeah, so Steve, part of day working with newbies and <coughs> corpse storage. Um, what is Doom Share? Oh, um, let's say Richter, when uh, you were attacked by the uh, the boneless back there, I've guess, also got. Yeah, it's like I guess you too. What was, so what was that kind of? Uh, what what was that like when you get attacked? Um, it keeps air from getting to you. A moist blanket. A very impermeable moist blanket that keeps air from getting to you. That squeezes way too hard. Moist blankets are, are known for being impermeable. So, and you couldn't see... And you have, you, have, you never, have you never held someone down and couldn't see, put wet couldn't fabric over their face to pat it? No, no, just me. Got it. Couldn't see, couldn't breathe, couldn't move. Mm -hmm. Call it water blanket. <laughs> Uh, Doomstair, would you be able to replicate that effect? Uh, yeah. Okay. You just, like, take some oil cloth, put it over their face, and hold it. Could you do it in a grenade form? Oh, well, now you're getting picky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I mean, sure. I, it's going to take me a while. i got to work on it, or, uh... You've still got other work, but I'm just wondering for future stuff. I mean, it, it's sticky stuff. Sure. I can figure out a way to make stuff, sticky stuff on people's face. Good. Used to be one of my favorite things when I was younger. <laughs> uh, then why don't you just redo that? Less permanent than you'd think. Okay, so, so they were able work to wipe on, it right off. So you're going to work on uh, improving I did a it. lot of experiments. Got to be kind of honest, didn't change my method too much, but I enjoyed the work. Well, you can uh, get back to developing that then. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so figuring out how to make the better milk mustache, yes. Well, I think we're wanting more of a full coverage for blinding and... Yeah, that, that was usually the idea. Yeah, t take out their vision, too. That was one of the things you just... Yeah, indeed. Molly's just over the corner, like, <laughs> rocking, making, like, <laughs> tight, quiet, squeaking noises, trying not to die. Like. <laughs> Eventually look around the room and notice I must be missing out on something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we got that, and yeah, Abbott uh, has got church with me, and we'll be working on the uh, charity stuff. I don't know how many, how much uh, more time does Anders got left? Uh, Anders has uh, Monday. He'll be a full trend lieutenant. Okay, cool. And let's see. Yeah, so Jake's still recruiting, but I'll go ahead and tell him that uh, you guys, um, might, you and Klaus might uh, end up being the ones who end up training the uh, new guys for combat. Combat do, skills. Do you want them to be more like Klaus or more like Jake? Fighters or barbarians? Or would the boys just have combat classes? I mean, if you put them into barbarian class, you could make them barbarians. Yeah. They can split the workload. I mean, if you want them to be basic fighters, barbarians would mean that they would get, like, raging abilities. <coughs> if you make them into fighters, you can give them, like, more different kinds of weapons and armor and... Multi-attacks. Second wind? They would probably get multi-attacks. I don't think they'd get second wind. Action surge? They might get action surge. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like, what if you? Also, I don't think we want more barbarians. 
I'd say they're it's... hard to point. Hard to point. Yeah. As a weapon, just sometimes they do their own thing if they're crazy. That is the chance. When they're raging and taking half damage, they might not pull back super good. It's like, well, it's like Klaus could probably just take a couple of them. We don't need to. Yeah. He can maybe look and see if there's specific ones that he thinks. Do you want like an elite barbarian squad? If yeah. Barbarians are cheaper to outfit. You don't have to buy them armor. Yeah, that's like that's, just that's just right gears and shields. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. that that's one advantage, <laughs> and it's like the barbarian does not need any armor. We don't have to pay for them that way. It's like I could see the use of a couple of them. Did you just, just say? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it's not rapiers. It's and rapiers shields. and shields. <laughs> It's like, I knew it was him. <laughs> <laughs> the world's greatest barbarian. But, um... Yeah. Other than that, I think we've got everybody settled. I think we can get on with our day. What? I got my fighter up to, like, 32 AC. Mm -hmm. Pretty reliably. Without shield, the spell. Not shield, the item. <laughs> So yeah, I'll sleep, prepare animal messenger for tomorrow, then I'll take the carriage around to those other districts and get the birds working this evening. Wow, did you just jump a lot of time when he is, has stuff to do before sleeping? I'm not jumping. No, he's I'm talking saying, about what he's doing. Uh, I'm saying that at the end of the meeting, that's oh. my plan for the day. Well, we already knew that. Okay. Church day. Yeah. We go sleep. All right, you guys are going to sleep, you're going... Yep. Day to drinking. Day drink. You and Abba take me to church. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So you uh, go to church and you you're there early, of course, and you're setting everything up. And uh, Abigail. Uh. No, Agatha. Sorry, a Agatha. Yeah, yeah it's Agatha, like one of the two. <laughs> yeah, Agatha Hawthorne shows up and she starts putting out uh, tables. Oh, thank you. And like bakers are showing up and just putting out plates. With different like different uh, yeah. cards on them, like explaining what they are and like names and stuff like that. Yeah. And I, I want to make sure to greet and thank uh, all the bakers as well as all the new people who are coming from the Balance Blades area uh, okay. to the church. As yeah, they they're very happy to see you. It's a very kind gesture of you to greet them. They love this idea of a charity, especially since you're not trying to make them to donate everything yeah. like you know they like yeah that's great we uh stayed within the price range that was given to us by your man da, da, da. and they set all of it up and uh agatha just kind of sits around for a minute and then you see a cart roll up and like urns are being taken off and she goes oh yes great right over here and Agatha, on her own, with her own money, paid for, like, tea, coffee, and it looks like a big old thing of ice-cold, fresh milk being set up for the, uh, cookie tasting. It's like, well, golly gee, <laughs> you didn't have to, uh, but I appreciate it, and I'm sure everybody here will love it. I don't know, you, you could get little pieces of paper so people can write down their favorite and put it in there. Yeah, it's like we got to get the voting cards okay, ready. Yeah, you can get all that set up in plenty of time. Right. But now, the most important thing, you do whatever stupid service, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you, hold on. Do you want me to... Auto-convert for... You have random bakers in there yeah, and people you. that aren't interested in your church that you could possibly convert. Yeah, and so, so I got, I've got the, that stuff. <laughs> you guys are severely cutting into my cookie description. <laughs> but still, I'll um, yeah, be enhanced. So, uh, do you want me to just do for the performance for auto-conversion? or? I mean, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's what, a 23 base to trigger? Uh, no. It's no. 21, I believe. Yeah, it's 21. Because oh, okay. it's DC 7. Se seven. Yeah. You, and, you and never three time, the, 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 the required roll is three times DC. Yeah. yeah. And I make it. Okay. Because so. I remember you could improve that you know thing, but the check would go up accordingly. Yes. Thank you. 
and then by third edition, we can't, you know, just get spot gear for you to up one thing. Yeah, there, there's no, like, just general skill. Okay. Uh, two of your, the bakers were converted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> two natural ones. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everything else was at least above seven. I did two natural ones. And I'm like, all right, hook, line, and sinker some of these boys. <laughs> I believe that's also what Abigail got, or Agatha. Yeah. Rolled a natural one, so she's just on here for until you do something horrific. <laughs> and I'm a good person. <laughs> I'm a good person. I pay my taxes. <laughs> okay, so... As you are being led down the line as, you know, your opinion matters in this, mm -hmm. the first is kind of a shortbread cookie with a divot in the middle with, uh, like, uh, some jams in it. Well, like, you know, there's apricot, there's a, uh, like, a, like a kiwi, and there's a one that's like a honey raspberry. Because huh. the raspberries were a little too tart, so we added some honey. Because we do to everything it's too tart in this kingdom. <laughs> uh, then there's uh, kind of... Oh, uh, quick question. How many cookies was it that I was like... Because uh, I'm going to get a, like a full list, and how, how many do I have to pick out from? Because it's going to be like... There's 20 here. Mm -hmm. You can pick out as many as you'd like. The pricing will be exactly the same. This was this was just for me. Oh, okay. This was for me. Because well, this was is like, me having fun. <laughs> it's like like uh, I was thinking. He's like, okay, we got twenty here. We got to pick like five of them or something. I mean, you can pick. Uh, that five. seems like a reasonable thing. That's not. Like, uh, you each, don't have a number you have to choose, but your character would be the one determining what that yeah, number is. Each yeah. baker uh, put forward two cookies. Uh, the second group of cookies and the fifth group of cookies are the ones who converted. Okay. If it matters. Everyone knows the most important thing is the cookie. So this is like a uh, another shortbread cookie. So similar to the uh, first one that's got uh, pecans all through it with uh, some little caramel crunches in there. So that's the first one. First baker. Okay, first baker. Yeah. Uh, the next one is like a sugar cookie that when you bite into it kind of crumbles and almost dissolves and it's like got this lemoniness to it. Mm. And then the next one is also it's like two sugar cookies sandwiched and there's a uh, strawberry jam in the middle. So the next baker so this is, that was the second baker. You're on the third. Yep. You, am I going too fast? Or? No. Okay. okay. The next one is uh, round cookies with a, <coughs> a bit of chocolate in the middle. And as you bite into it, the chocolate mixes with the cookie with like this wonderful creamy nutty flavor. It's like a peanut butter chocolate cookie. So it's like a, a chalk, it's a peanut butter cookie with like a chocolate on top. Like the uh, peanut butters with a little kiss in the middle? Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. This is mean that you didn't bring us any cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just going to sit there and keep describing cookies without giving me any cookies, aren't you? Yeah. This is, what, uh, the, the third one, right? Yeah, yeah. so we, at least two more. Yeah, we, we got one more on the third baker. Okay, so the next cookie for the third baker is... Like it looks like a, a rippled cookie. It's an oatmeal cookie with cranberries and little pieces of white fudge inside of it. So it's like a cranberry white fudge oatmeal cookie. <laughs> then the fourth baker has uh, they're just wonderful, simple ginger snap style cookies. And then the next one is like this pile of roasted coconut on top of like chocolate with chocolate drizzle all over it. Yeah. Not, a, not everything has to be perfect for you. you know? Yeah. And I get to make X sounds when it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. The next one is like kind of uh, 
pillowy cookies with toasted sesame seeds on the outside mm. and a some nature of like citrusy custardy something in the middle when you bite into mm. it it's almost like a kind of crunchier like a pretzel or a very crispy cookie but not savory it's sweet and then there's a chocolate cookie with like another pile of chocolate on top and as you bite into it it's like a hazelnutty chocolate like almost Nutella kind of chocolate cookie alright I believe that's number four. five okay that's number five yep is that the first of five or the second of five? Second of five. Okay, that's what he, I thought. He had uh, toasted sesame and chocolate chocolate hazelnut cookie. Yeah, okay, so six is uh, like these, like, you bite into them and it's almost like air. Like an um, airy, beautiful, also lemony with a kind of glazed drizzle on it. So what flavor is the, the glaze? Uh, also lemon. Okay. It's just lemony, lemony. And then Airy, lemony cookie. There's another one that's like you bite into it and it's uh, like a crunchy cookie and it's uh, almond flavored, like an uh, like an almond liqueur flavored cookie. Uh, peculiar. Okay, so seven, seven is your basic chocolate chip cookie, but when you bite into it. It might be the best one you've ever had. It's not just little chips. It's like grated chips. It's like thousands of little islands <coughs> inside of a lake of brown uh, cookie. And it's kind of crispy and lacy on the outside and like a beautifully soft cookie on the interior. It might be the best chocolate chip cookie you've ever had. Nice. <laughs> and... And the next one is like a kind of pillowed hash top, and it's just like kind of a honey cookie. It's like a honey, like kind of a ginger snap texture, but instead of ginger, it's like a burst of honey, almost like a honeycomb kind of cookie. And they made gushers. <laughs> Honey gushers. Or, or whatever the actual honeycomb stuff is they make with chemicals. <laughs> it's a candy process. but Honey filled wax. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so that's... The candy one, not the actual. <laughs> Starting on eight. Eight, okay. So it's a chewy toasted coconut cookie. Like pretty basic, just toasted uh, coconut and then, no, they wouldn't know how to do that. Those are cool. Wait, do you have a random cookie generator over there? No, it's not oh. random. Okay. I just got together 90 or so really good looking cookie recipes, and I'm kind of going through them being like, okay, this guy would make these ones. <laughs> so his other cookie is like a strawberry cookie. Uh, cookie with like almost like a s strawberry cheesecake kind of cookie so it's like strawberry and a, a soft sweet uh, cream cheese in it and you just bite into it and just beautiful like a tiny strawberry danish no okay. thanks for helping though that wasn't helping that was just a general question it's I never been it. helpful <laughs> <laughs> number nine uh, number nine, you bite into it, and this little herring gun baker has made you a cookie that like has carrots and raisins and walnuts in it, and you bite into it, and it has like this cream cheese frosting on top. It is a carrot cake cookie. This is not a cookie anymore. I also love her rabbits love carrots, but they're too sweet for them. They shouldn't eat them. <laughs> Carrots are delicious. I love a lot of things that are too sweet for me and that I shouldn't eat. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not going to stop me. <laughs> and then the next one that she has is like a soft <clears throat> shortbread with like a, a creamy caramel inside with the outside just dusted with coconut flakes and powdered sugar. 
I'd love to imagine in this relatively tempered area, there is just a plot of land growing coconuts in, like, a magically reinforced tropics, you know, biome. All hail the druid. Yes, all hail the druid. <laughs> and lemons. So the next one has, uh, I believe this is the last one, isn't it? La- last bakery. Yeah. yeah. Has a uh, chocolate chip with cherry cookies. Like, uh, Cherry Garcia kind of thing. And then he also has these cookies that are like this beautiful, vibrant red on the outside. And when you bite into them, there's a sweet cream filling. So it's like a red velvet cake with, like, a filled red velvet cake cookie. Almost like a kind of Oreo consistency inside, but not as uh, crumbly as an Oreo would be. Okay. This was very fun for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, ah, virtual cooking. So much easier than actual cooking. Mm-hmm. 20 different cookies and not a single one of them used mint. Interesting. Why would they use mint? Because thin very... mints are the best. Uh, I mean, thin mints are fucking disgusting. I mean, they're not. Samoas are the best. <laughs> Samoas are the best. Well, that would explain why there's a lot, like three Tag or four alongs. coconuts on your horse. Huh? Tag Or... Samoa's not you ain't coconut? Right. No, they are, but yeah. three or four. Oh. Oh, oh on, on that. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People like I'm just saying I bought five boxes skills. of Samoa's this year. Uh, I bought 27 boxes of Girl well, Scout cookies. Well, what the, which two of the bakers did, did you say were converted? Uh, One and five. Or two, two and five. Yeah, two, two and, and five. five. If you're going to get Tagalongs, you might as well just order dosi dos Eat I, some garbage off the ground. I like Tagalongs. They're great. You put them in the freezer and they taste like a Snickers. Might as well just eat random stuff off the floor. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my floor. Quit eating my stuff. <laughs> Those are not my dialogue. Don't tempt me, Frodo. <laughs> I, I dare not keep I'll, it. I'll eat what I want when I want. From where I want? Yeah. I'm surprised I haven't seen the Girl Scouts up at the grocery store, which is where I'd normally buy them. Yeah, seen them all over the place. They, they, yeah, my boss came and put up the thing for his daughter's Girl Scout cookies. He's like, here you go. Also, if you change your mind later, my wife's cookie mom, so you can just ask for cookies and I probably have, we have extras. Because hmm. what do we do? It like, here, here's a list of things. Pick five and you'll get a box. Huh? For the... No, you, they just pick out what they want. Oh, okay. <laughs> We don't have to worry about shipping our overage costs and, you know, making the exact it's right amount. It's in the kingdom. You're going to do the orders, and then in about three or four months, they'll get cookies. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean... I, yeah, no, it's like... I, that, I that's how Girl Scout cookies work. <laughs> yeah, I did not know if there was too many and it had to be pruned. I ordered Girl Scout cookies like two months ago. I still haven't gotten them. <laughs> I'm impatiently waiting. Well, that's probably why, because I, I usually buy them when they already have the box. Yeah, it's yeah. like one I think girls they, do? they have who a pre- box next to Who pre-orders one? cookies? I do. I pre-ordered cookies. I pre-order I mean, games. I pre-order cookies. Get off my back. I feel like at least one of those you shouldn't be doing. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and get off my back about that. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and get all the way off my back about it. That's fine. Okay, let me get off that thing. Like Ryan and Ryan, mm-hmm. and also sometimes Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> occasionally baby Ryan. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Horrifying. Uh, You're over there making decisions, aren't you? Yeah, I'm looking at my. Uh, okay, well, you can go. Okay, you can make the, your cookie decisions, and we'll go over here. You wake up and cast Birdie Birdie. Yeah, so wake up, go out, cast Birdie Birdie on uh, the bounce blades area, the. Uh, Horses head area and our area. Then I'll take the cart and go around the balance blades area to the ones touching it. Stop touching me! Okay. <coughs> and I say. Adjacent. Adjacent, yes. I, what I'm using is we freed you. We are working against the balance blades. If you would like to help. 
come to should I just say the right horse or the uh, church? Red horse. Red horse. Red horse. Red horse. <laughs> Bring him into the church. Take <laughs> it. Yeah, but that's what the message will be. And then. Hey, okay, up. so we freed you. We freed you. We are working against the balanced blades. If you want to help, meet us at the Red Horse. Okay, you got four more words. You can ask, like, are you pooping? <laughs> we'll protect uh, you. We'll protect you. We'll protect you. And. <laughs> or like, and, I'll, and, or, and, just, just always end with an and. <laughs> no, and we will protect you. So, uh, yes. But are you pooping? No, I'm not asking about the pooping <laughs> situation. But on the carriage ride, I do bring Huxley so he can sniff around outside the carriage. And we can have a fun ride. No one's seen it but us. <laughs> I know. Bunch of D and D nerds don't watch D and D. She's no. right there. <laughs> why, why would I, I mean, yes, yes. Yeah, why would I watch somebody else play D and D? Because it's entertaining. The same no. reason you watch someone else play with footballs, or you nope. would watch someone else, I don't know, solve murder mysteries, mm, I don't think or I watch either. someone else fall in love. I don't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nah, no. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic entertainment. Show. <laughs> I never understood why. I'm like, why would I want to watch the D and D? I actually play D and D. Also, you can learn things and get ideas from other people, like dust of delicious. I, I do that myself all the time. <laughs> so yes, that's my evening. It's travel around with Huxley to the Just other areas, eating birds, oh, eating window. birds. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Doc, what you doing? Um. After you awaken. Can take the line that must be taken. Huh? What? <laughs> awaken. Awaken. <laughs> oh, you're talking about garbage music. They nope. yell at you in that music. And apparently... Oh, they're talking about metal? It's yeah. illegal to listen to it at a reasonable volume. You have to listen to it loud enough that your roommate who wakes up at three in the morning can't get to sleep. Well, that's fine. As long as you're just doing it in headphones. No, 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 no. Why would he do it in headphones when he could instead blast the entire apartment with bass? Because he's all about that bass. <laughs> Some trouble. <laughs> I get my spells back and I roll my... Your poor chance. Odds. Oh, I can hurt people. Or disadvantage them at least. Um. Did they set the guy in in this morning's meeting on looking into like the aspect, like the prospects of setting up the corpse storage? Mm -hmm. I pull out the books and I start trying to figure out things of how do I actually put that together. Then <laughs> okay, spend <laughs> the afternoon and it. You uh, find that it is. Where is my note? So it's a metal utility that you've uh, researched. It's uh, since you have like all the research notes that you would have had to go through to create the spell, mm -hmm. you can just follow the uh, instructions that are uh, provided for you. So it uh, costs 600 gold worth of red coral pulverized. And it takes an uh, hour of ritual casting, and you can get gentle repose on a uh, defined unit. So, like, a box, but not, like, a wall of boxes. So you can do it for, like, a single drawer. You'd, like, you'd have to do it for each individual drawer. An hour and uh, 600 gold worth of red coral, and you got... 2100 gold worth of red coral, I think. And that's the only option is the red coral? Uh, you can use red coral or you can use. Uh, where's my conversion? You can use 200 gold worth of diamond. Also pulverized. What are the limitations on the space? Like. A space. It's going to be one target, so it's gentle repose on one thing that is in that box. So you define the space, but it's not. Um, I do not know if you could do a whole room with just 
throw a bunch of corpses in no. there. <laughs> okay. For obvious, that's stupid and broken. Yeah, it's a, de- it's a defined space. Yeah. <clears throat> like, a room is, like, just... It could be... I mean, I guess I could do it on a room, room and it, could it stores... It a stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and, and you know what? And maybe I need it as a room if I want to have the, the spot to store the, uh, the hill giant corpse that it needs to be a, a full room for it. Yeah. But it's a defined space, and it's for one yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, please don't break my fun spelly thing, yeah. because it's here to be fun. Yeah, yes. no, just apply general common sense of how does this make sense. Like, how is yeah. it used in the world? It continues to be used like that. Is there requirements for, like, what that defined space is made out of? Uh, no. Okay. It just needs to, uh, use that. I mean, you saw the <laughs> ones before were made out of basic metal. Mm-hmm. Like, and it wasn't, like, great fancy. It, nice wooden drawers would work just fine and be a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm thinking that a lot of the space, as, as I then leave my room and look around, a large section of the space has not yet been... Inhabited? T- inhabited. That's correct. So I, I just sort of try to figure out, like, which walls of... Because if this is, like, a church offering and nothing to do with me, it does not need to be up in my space. This is an obvious... No, op- you could take all of these rooms that people, and, like, subdivide them and get your carpenter buddy, who you mm-hmm. already know, yeah. to come in and put drawers But in. yeah, so I, I otherwise spend my day chalking out, like, potential, like, for where... You could do uh, six drawers per, per bedroom. You figure mm-hmm. stacking. Yeah, so I, I just kind of chalk yeah. out like where things are. Like you take people's bedrooms. Yep. Yeah. The only one who uses it is Spartacus. I, I yeah, love Spartacus, that. And, 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 uh, and assuming he or his person is around, because it's in here that he's building his uh, bath facilities, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm making sure that I know <laughs> where those are, and that you know that's because I don't know how defined if those have walls yet or. I mean, they definitely are going to have walls. Yeah, but basically, as I'm doing it, like I get like where is that? What's Keep that. He also wants to make like another wall, so there's a door between him and the corpse room. So he, perfect. Yeah, he he would like more doors. <laughs> more doors. Yeah, I just love the idea. You of can't just walk only in you more and more doors. <laughs> <laughs> only you and Spartacus live there, and you've decided you know what this place needs, Spartacus? More dead bodies. <laughs> just like, I, a I, wall wish of them. I wish you wouldn't. I wish you wouldn't. Money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh... But no, 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 no he tried... he's like, he stops and thinks and goes, Oh, no, 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 I can fix this. No, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. I've... No, I fixed this. It's fine. <laughs> he so. goes and talks to his carpenter a little bit, and they go over and they start looking at the wall, and they're like, seem to be drawing a door on the wall. <laughs> Raise his own entrance? <laughs> He's like <laughs> taking a wallet off, so he has an apartment <laughs> that is not a part of the corpse storage unit. <laughs> As I feel like my room was placed based on where the ceiling patch was, my room is just in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you're in the middle of all the pieces. <clears throat> it's fine. So, like, basic, from what you're like mapping out and can figure out, you could probably do about. 45 to 50 corpses on this floor. Without giving up your room or storage yeah. space upstairs. Just and This entire floor would then be corpse storage. There's <laughs> no apartments anymore. Well, right now there are no apartments. There are lines drawn on the form for, for them to be able to build apartments, but I was the only one that paid to have walls put in. None and of the other rooms have walls. It's just we, a big open floor plan now. We yeah. live over the Red Horse where they feed us with changer sheets of stuff. I wanted more privacy than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a room full of corpses is your dream house. I mean, at that point, like you're no one's no one's just <laughs> dropping by randomly. They've I they're only have visitors. Yeah, they they, they only come by if they have survive the experience. Yeah. No, no, but you might. Someone might want to say, like, okay, it's like we've just added s- extra doors. They have to come during a specific. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they're not randomly just hanging out here or. <laughs> yes, just I want to visit Grandma. <laughs> yeah, she whereas at the school. inn, literally, people are just there all the time that you don't know. It's a business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, you uh, 
basically figure out that you can fit about 50. Okay. Uh, and you're saying it's, there. it's you said, was it like basically, was it six per room? Yeah. Like it's per block? Yeah. Um, Dep- do I, I have 60 then? I was trying okay. to make nice round numbers, but I did say six already, so yeah, 60. Okay. Um, Which means that you would take 60 hours worth of enchanting. Yeah. And, you know. I try and just get a price for what, like, the mundane, like, the actual, like, wooden drawers, like, structure would be. If I can go find the carpenter friend. Just to get, like, a rough idea of, hey, working on a project, trying to see. Uh, Give me you a know, free what, I, what I mean to. <laughs> Save up for. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Because he's over there drawing on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you go up to him and you kind of talk to him about like what your mm-hmm. plans are and all that, mm-hmm. uh, he kind of goes, that's really nice. I mean... And he looks around and he goes, if we bundle this in with what I'm already doing, I can do the whole thing for 1500 and like 750 of that's already paid for because of Spartacus. So, it's like we act now and is another 750? Yeah. Okay. When do I have to make that decision? Uh, Just while he's still working on this? Yeah. Okay. You, you have about a week. Okay. And I would like to point out that you have uh, to do 36,000 gold worth of uh, crushed red coral. That doesn't matter. Or once the once the structure's in, we can we can do them bits at a time. We don't have to enchant the entire thing at yeah. once. Or or 12,000 of diamond. Yeah. No, coral will be much easier to find. Yeah. And we can also do a mix of whatever we have. But yeah, no, it's um Yeah, no, it's very much a once the drawers are in, enchant a few. Yeah, and then to go as we need. Yeah. But we definitely need to know that the party is is moving forward with the plan before I pay for... And now this is full of drawers. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like... I, I, I don't know. We'll need Abbott to do some market research. It's like, how much would you think someone's willing to pay per, like, month? Yeah. As, to far, see as, if it's, as, so, as far as making it an actual successful business. Yeah. Uh, Charging so much that the only like uh, our like rich We're, whale would pro- potentially want it. Well, here. once you enchant it, it's that's a permanent enchantment. Yeah, yeah. it's not gonna. It doesn't require maintenance. It's not gonna go bad. If you move the drawers to another location, the enchantment is still on it. It is an object. So it might be useful for even our own guys. I yeah, think. I mean, I to some extent we want at least some. Yeah, yeah it was like- but if I'm going with sixty, that's you know even if we're not because like. We do 60 drawers, and I start enchanting a few, and we don't open the business right away. That's just for us and our own needs for the immediate thing as we start enchanting more of them. Yeah. As we tell boys, if you can, grab your fallen companions. They could maybe be brought back, you know? Yeah. If they start paying into the life insurance policy on, you know, resurrection. I am not keeping track of the taxing on their income for resurrection. Just be aware. But we're trying I, to. I started them. with a whole bunch of grand plans, and boy, how yeah, it was did I stupid. Get rid of them so yeah, fast. no, it was. You start out with some real stupid plans of needless complexity. Yep, got rid of them. Yep. all of them, free and immediately. Well, then wouldn't it be smart just to ask like him how much money you should charge to keep the price reasonable? By um, making a check or something? Well, yeah. Well, that that's what that. assigning yeah. Abbott is. It's oh, yeah. us asking Bob. Yeah. <laughs> that is literally the end. I'm right. not actually in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just over here we floating just, around being the puppet man. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, we assign lieutenants uh, to ask Bob okay. questions. <laughs> I, I narrowed my selection down to seven because I couldn't pick just five that I wanted. There you go. They, they're good cookies. Yeah. Okay. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to vote on the seven ones that I, I want, and then also get the other members of This the might shock you. Those are the seven that pass. <laughs> yeah. 
And it's like, I, I get everybody's votes to see what people vote for. As I slowly influence the room walking yeah. around. Yeah, it's like, mm. this, oh, this one's, one's great! This one's great. And there were signs just sitting there going, this is the most, like, blatant emotional manipulation I've ever seen over something so stupid. <laughs> Especially when you had final say already. Yeah. When you want to manipulate the crowd. To be fair, no, everyone just appreciates you. the, we get free cookies, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> everyone matter. is understanding that the goal is do what Mama June wants. She just got us free cookies. Yeah. And cold milk. Cold milk. <laughs> just all of the honey in the cake. It, 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 it's not so much that I, that I just want to be in power. It's that I also want to be loved while being in power. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't want you to do what I say. I want you to want to do what I say. Exactly. <laughs> On that note, as you go around and make uh, the final persuasions to get those cookies chosen... We're going to go ahead and pick up here next time. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around, and check out the other content. So much, thank you so much for joining us. Bye.